Today we are going to discuss topic from prosthodontics. Known as major connectors from RPD. According to GPT, major connector is defined as a part of removable partial denture which connects the components on one side of the arch to the components on the opposite side of arch. Requirements of major connectors are as follows. It should be rigid and should provide vertical support and protect the soft tissue. Borders of major connector must be away from gingival margin. Maxillary should be at least 6 mm and mandibular should be at least 3 to 4 mm. The borders of the major connector should be round and parallel to the gingival margin. The metal framework should cross the gingival margin at right angle. The anterior border of maxillary major connector should end in valley of rug A not on crest of the rug A. Repair of fractured major connector is contraindicated. It should be refabricated always. Material used most commonly are cobalt chromium alloy or type 4 gold alloy. They should not interfere with patient's speech. Types of maxillary major connector are posterior palatal bar, palatal strap, ontero posterior double palatal bar, horseshoe or U shaped connectors, closed horseshoe or anterior posterior palatal strap, complete palate. Let's talk first about posterior palatal bar. It is oval in cross section to make it bulky. And it is thickest at the center. To make it rigid. Indications are. Class 3 RPD and interim dentures. Disadvantages are. It cannot be used in distal extension cases. It has little or no vertical support from the palate. It only derives support from the remaining natural teeth and rests. It should not be anterior than second primo. Second is palatal strap. Remember the width is always more than 8 mm. It consists of thin band of metal which makes it less bulky. Indication are as follows. Class 2 and Class 3. Advantages are as follows. Strong L-beam effect. It is also called 3-plane effect. Horizontally it is provided by palatal vault. Vertically by lateral slopes of palate. Sagittally by anterior slopes of palate. It resists twisting and bending stresses due to strong L-beam effect. It provides good rigidity. Enhanced patient comfort due to lesser bulky. Retention through adhesion and cohesion due to intimate contact. Disadvantages are as follows. Excessive palatal coverage. Soft tissue reaction due to covers wider surface area. Leads to papillary hyperplasia. Third is anterior posterior palatal bar or double palatal bar. It is made up of palatal bar posteriorly and palatal strap anteriorly connected by flat longitudinal elements on each side of lateral slope of palate. It takes support from periodontally sound remaining teeth. Indications are as follows. Class 2 and Class 4. Patient with large inoperable mid-palatal maxillary tori. It is also indicated where anterior and posterior abutment are widely separated. Advantages are as follows. Excellent rigidity due to strong L-beam effect. Less palatal coverage. Disadvantages are as follows. Less vertical support because of limited palatal coverage. It cannot be used when remaining teeth are periodontally compromised. Discomfort for patient in anterior region. Fourth type is horseshoe or U-shaped connector. Thin band of metal extending along the palatal surface of posterior tooth. Metal covers singular of the teeth to palatal tissue about 6 to 8 millimeters. It should be symmetrical both sides. Indications are as follows. Class 4. Inoperable tori extending at posterior border of hard palate or prominent median palatine suture. Overbite of anterior teeth. Advantage are as follows. It is reasonably strong. Moderate indirect retention and support. Disadvantage are as follows. Under vertical force either at one or both end tend to straighten out. So great bulk is required at anterior part of the connector. Which leads to discomfort to patient's sand. Phonetics are also affected. Third point is that it cannot be used in distal extension cases. Fifth type is closed horseshoe or ontero posterior palatal strap. It is similar to the U-shaped major connector but a strap of metal extends between two open ends of horseshoe. Center of the palate is uncovered. Strap should be of uniform thickness and margins are kept smooth and rounded. Indication are as follows. Class 1 and 2 with anterior tooth replacement. Also in case of large maxillary tori with more number of teeth missing. Advantage are as follows. It is rigid and derives good vertical support. 
It has strong L-beam effect. Disadvantages are as follows. Phonetics are affected. Patient's discomfort. And the last R6 type is complete palette major connector. It has uniform metal coverage over entire palette. Its posterior border extends to junction of hard and soft palate. Indications are as follows. Class 1 and 2. Class 1 with modification spaces. When opposing all mandibular teeth are present. Due to which load and displacing force is increased. So it is distributed evenly in complete palate connector. In cases of flat ridges. Cleft palate patients with shallow steep palatal vault. In such cases higher stability is required. Advantage are as follows. Excellent rigidity and support. Disadvantage are as follows. Because of extensive coverage adverse soft tissue reaction takes place. Such as papillary hyperplasia. Second is speech interference. That is all for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel. Comment below for any doubts. Thank you for watching.